saw the ick looking at me, so that's you. How the f do you find me attractive? I sound like a piece of meat. Oh, f thank God she's been cut from the show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liv Bentley. And I'm Tristan Phipps. And we're going to take a look back at our most memorable moments on Made in Chelsea. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Throwback. You look like a punk rocker. I, quite sexy. I can't. Oh my god, it makes me laugh. How old are you here? Twenty. Well, I don't know. Bigger than like Sam's. <gasps> no, not his. That was about his. It's about his. No, his build. <laughs> his build. <laughs> I um. God, what the hell was I wearing? There's a lot to digest in that clip. But you look like baby. you look like some sort of punk rock chick, like a bit of edge. I used to live in blazers. I always wear. Always wear, Used to always wear suits. But I, and I wear thick black eyeliner. I didn't know how to do my makeup then. Well, I still really don't. But I, um, I, yeah, I used to literally get this fat liner across my eyes. A sharpie in this clip. Yeah, pretty much. God. That's when I was innocent and sweet. My younger, more vulnerable days. Mm. <laughs> what the f then? No, definitely not. <gasps> no, you're not. Oh, thanks. God, look at my wig. This, this is when I. Broken up with Verity and I, I ran away. No, 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 Laura. no, this is Laura. This is when I left Made in Chelsea. I took a year sabbatical and my first scene back was with you. <laughs> it's so weird seeing you when we weren't together because it's sort of like... Little did you know that I was just playing the long game with you. Were you? It was all part of my master plan. I can't work out if I... I mean, I thought you were fit, obviously, but I didn't... I don't think I... I did think you were attractive, but I, I thought you were I, hot. I thought you basically oh, yeah. you thought I was ugly and things like that. No, no, I thought you were really fit, but I never because obviously I was with Digby and you were with Laura. It was not one of those things that we'd ever probably thought about. We I mean, used to counsel, counsel each other. Yeah, that's the right word. We used to like give advice about our counsel, our oh, respective yeah. relationships at the time. I was like, break up with Digby. <laughs> you were like, I don't know what your advice was actually. But it's odd because I sort of forget the times that we were mates. I feel like we've been together the whole time. Which that was is a the good whole thing. thing when we started dating. Was we had a friendship that we were scared of losing. Look at us now, baby. I know. Thank God it worked. Thank God. Um, good throwback. <laughs> hey! Oh. The first kiss on camera. <laughs> How did you fancy me? My chat is abysmal. I wasn't with you for your chat. Look at my sick suit. So, you know what's missing from today? Oh. Here we go. You've not had your birthday kiss yet. I've, oh. I've got the ick <laughs> looking at me, so that's you. How the f do you find me attractive? Cute! It is quite cute. I was missing a nail though. What, but, I, what I mo would like to add from this is the backstory that we had spent about four nights in bed together before this. <laughs> but no coitus. But no coitus. Also, we'll just lay there. on that day, Straight. I had the worst um, wisdom tooth pain. Oh, I remember trying to drink just to get through it because I was like, the pain is in unbearable. Shame. So at that point, I was like nervous, slightly drunk, and I was like, oh my god, what's going to happen? That was a big moment for me. Very sweet. I was really, really f***ed up in this game. God, he's so <laughs> This is what, when Charlie hooked up Verity? This is when I just woke up Verity. And, oh, f Thank God she's been cut from the show. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, she's... I don't think I just Those, spat. Nah. That was, uh, that was very straight. That was, a, I mean, to be honest, the situation turned into something beautiful. So <laughs> thank God that happens, because maybe I never would have won you over. But also, they were having a go at me because Verity and I had broken up. She'd said, don't get anyone, let's be respectful. Then she jumps into bed with two of my mates. <laughs> so <laughs> hold on, how am I the one getting at the neck? Anyway, I'm glad it happened. Verity, thank you because I found love in my life. Oh, that's really cute. You're truth. very good at saying really sweet things. I think them, I just don't know how to say them. <laughs> just keep them in the locker. Yeah. I'm talking about Mmm. so brave of you to talk about this on, on camera as well. When I was 16, that's when you're like, you know, you hit puberty, you're, you're trying to look like, like, I wanted to, I just felt very unlike, girly. It's hard for me to hear you think that you were not sexy or feminine or anything, because I think how it made you feel, that's not how anyone else perceived you. So cute, so obviously that scene is me saying, that's very sweet, saying, I had an piece when I was younger, and then I didn't really want to talk about it for a while. And then on the show, I started wearing a wig. And they were like, you know, would you want to talk about why? And I, that, I remember that at first I was really scared to do it. 
because I was like, oh, what are people going to say? They're going to. I don't know. I'd had a lot of nasty comments about it for a long time, and it was such a like for me. It was just like my weakness, I suppose. And everyone is saying, oh, you go and grow some hair, you little stuff like this. And I'm like, I remember in that scene, Jamie was the first person. No, I had a scene with my mum when I spoke about it, and then I had that scene with Jamie and spoke about it more. And he was just, everyone was so sweet about it. But it's now watching that back, I forget there was a time where I was so self conscious about my hair. <laughs> Go on, man. She's not a woman's price to be fought over. What am I? I sound like a piece of meat. <laughs> Who's laughing now, Will? Who's laughing now? You're all happily married, but I will be too. That God, was, uh... that, you know what's weird? That doesn't even say, seem that long ago, and he's now engaged to someone. You and I are living together. Yeah. That was bizarre. That was, um... Yeah, that was that was just before Cornwall, when we weren't sure if we were, what was going on. No, no, sorry. No, no, you're no, gonna no, say, tell no, the story no. honestly let's, now. There's, let's just tell the truth about this story, right. all right? Cars on the table. So, I don't think we've had we this come back from Surrey, and I go and meet Tristan for a drink. So Surrey was the first lockdown, and we were all filming away, and it's when Tristan and I start, first started hooking up. Yeah. We then come back so to far, London. True. No, no, listen, let's just, there's only one story here to tell. <laughs> we then so come to London, and I go for a drink with you, and you were more like, Let's keep it casual. No. And I was like, I said, no, no, Tristan, let me. I'm not ready for a committed relationship yet. I, I'm enjoying what's going on. Oh, oh, I'm, I want to take it slow. Yeah, so I was taking it slow with you and him. <laughs> that's what you meant. There you go, that's what the cookie crumbles. And he turns around to me. Okay, I must say, Tristan, Will, no, 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 another Will, bloke Will, suddenly got involved and Tristan thought, what? No, I, I do feel sorry for, for Will at this stage because going into this scene, I did know where Liv and I stood and it was slightly. Oh, slightly, oh, slightly oh, further oh, down the line than they were. Strung them both along. We, them I'd spent, I spent the night with you before. This and he came in and said, Liv doesn't fancy you, she fancies me. And I was like, so Should we tell that horrible story about what actually happened with the group chat and the trainers? Oh my god, this is actually, wait, did you, did you sleep with him in there? No, I no, didn't. No. Oh no, I immediately mean, missed in the bed with me as oh well. Oh my god, the story gets no, worse. No, no, not like that. This is actually really funny. There Go was on. a group chat from Surrey, so I had all the cast in, and um, it was Tiff. Tiff came, oh yeah, it was when I was living with Tiff. Tiff came back and saw a pair of blokes trainers at the bottom of the stairs. Why is she so that took a photograph and, door? and sent it into this big group chat with the whole cast going, Tristan, stop leaving your shoes around. No reply for a while, and then Tristan just replies going, they're not mine. I, that's... They were Wills. They were Wills. Wills little size eights, I'd like to put out there. Not my size 12. Such rubbish. I'm so... Why am I still competing with you? <laughs> I live with you. Um, that was the best. And then that I thought, was quite I thought, funny. that'll be your karma, Tristan, for trying to shove me aside. You thought there were better options out there, didn't you? You thought the lockdown's lifted. Who's... No, look, he's in the park. Baby, Who you literally, he's a 10 out of 10 date? model. How do you think I'm supposed to feel? He's gorgeous. Look at the state of him. There's little me no, there. No, no, I thought about you basically not wanting you to... You thought about me when you were there. Oh, shut up. Moving on. Next one, please. 